You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and today as you guys saw from the title we're going to be doing a beginner's GFX tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up the classic base plate. You can use the regular one but the classic one is just a bit easier to navigate. When you open up the classic base plate you're going to go to your toolbox and then you're going to change it from models to plugins. Now you're going to search for a plugin called load character. The one I use is free and that is the only one you should be using. So as you can see, the one I'm hovering my mouse over is the correct one. At the top of your screen, you're going to see a plugins button and you're not going to click the avatar importer, you're going to click the load character. Then just type any username you want to do a GFX of, so I'm going to use mine. Make sure you import it in R6 or else it's not going to work. And once it loads in, you can adjust it so that it's on ground level or on the base plate. Now you're just going to right click on your avatar's username and click export selection. Here you're just going to name it whatever you want and then you're going to save it to your downloads. Now open up Blender and then change your rendering mode to cycles render. And then go down to your viewport shading and change it from solid to material. To delete the cube, you're going to click X and then you're going to click the delete button and then to move around, you're going to do Shift F and then you're just going to use your WASD keys. To go faster, you hold Shift while you use the keys. Then you're going to click File, Open and you're going to choose your rig. I'm going to use the default rig, but I'm going to link some rigs down below so you guys can use the woman rig, the blocky rig, or the man rig. When you import your rig, it's going to look something like this, and you're going to delete the head, the eyes, the lips, and the mouth, because we're not going to be using those. Now you're going to click File again, you're going to click Import, and then Wavefront.obj, and this is where you're going to find your avatar so you can import it into Blender. When you find your avatar, you're going to make sure it's the OBJ and then you're going to click import OBJ and it's going to usually pop into the rig. So you can either move it or just kind of delete from there. For some reason, Blender always likes to change back the viewpoint shading. So I just changed it back to material and then I twist my avatar around so that it lines up with the rig. Now you're just going to delete the body of your avatar and then leave any accessories and the hair and the head in. I like to change it to object mode so that it's easier to select the different parts of the avatar when I'm getting rid of them. These little icons that you see I'm selecting, you can't actually delete them, they're part of the rig. But the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select any bangs, hair, accessories, the head, and you're going to click the tools button. And when you click that, there's a set origin button. You're going to click origin to geometry and join so that they become one piece together. I'm just going to adjust the head a little bit because I don't really like the placement of it. Now you're going to right click the torso or any part of the rig and you're going to add or pull down from the top. And then you're going to click the little cube that you see and you're going to choose node editor. Now you're going to see a bunch of graphs and you don't be intimidated at all by them. I know they look really confusing, but we're only going to use one of them and that is to change the texture of the rig so that it doesn't look pink anymore. You're going to click the little image button and then when you click it, there should be a thing called handle and that is the one you want to select because that is the texture of your avatar. Now you're just going to bring it back up because we're not going to be using the node editor anymore and now what you're going to do is you're going to start posing your avatar. If you are unable to pose your avatar, it's because you're still in object mode. So when you right click the little circles and the orbits around it, make sure to change it to pose mode so that you're able to move all the limbs.
When you're done posing your avatar, you're going to click add and you can only see the add button if you're in object mode, so make sure you are. And then you're going to click camera and it'll spawn in a camera automatically. You're then going to click view and then active cameras. When you click that, it's going to spawn you into the camera's view and that way you can kind of move around the same way you did regularly. And you're just going to kind of center your camera so that it's posed at your character. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the panel on your right and make sure you have the camera button selected and you're going to go to the resolution and change it to 1000 by 1000 for a square frame. To get out of the camera's view, you're just going to scroll out and then you can move regularly. Next, you're going to click the two paper looking like icon and you're just going to click denoising so that there is no noise on your GFX. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click the globe and you're going to click ambient occlusion so that it's not dark. And then you can just choose the background of your GFX here. We're not going to be using anything else in the rest of the icon, so you can just kind of leave those alone. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to change it as a PNG, and then you're going to make sure that it's still on RGB. Now you're going to click View, Cameras, and Active Camera, and then you're just going to change the viewpoint shading to Rendered. This is what it's going to look like at the end. Here you can adjust the color, so if you click the globe, you can click the color and you can just adjust it however you like it. Now is the best time to kind of add your finishing touches, so if you don't like the way the camera is angled or you don't like the way the pose looks in the camera, then now is definitely the time to change it because you won't have the opportunity to later. Now you're going to click the camera icon, the render button, and then it'll start rendering. If you have a more detailed GFX, it would take longer, but if it's similar to mine, then it'll only take about 5 to 10 minutes. Then you're going to click image and then save as image and here you can name the image whatever you want it to be and then you're just going to click save as image. That's all for this video and if you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe.